If heaven was perfect, why did Lucifer defy God? What sparked Satan's initial evil urge? Have you ever wondered how sin found its way into the sacred place heaven? How the angel created by Almighty God could turn towards evil? Or why is there suffering in the world? These questions have puzzled theologians and scholars for centuries. Today, we go deep into the story of Satan, originally known as Lucifer, an angel in heaven whose transition to the dark side offers us profound insights into pride, rebellion, and their consequences. From the onset, the scriptures reveal important details, explaining that sin's intrusion into our world made Earth the central arena for the great controversy, leading to human suffering and loss due to this conflict. Yet this conflict didn't start here on Earth. Welcome to Divine Favor. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel to support our mission. Just click the subscribe button below the video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and turn on notifications to stay updated on all our inspiring content. Great, let's go. In the hierarchy of angels. Lucifer wasn't just any angel. He was known for his beauty and was adorned with precious stones and metals. His primary role was as a bearer of light, reflecting God's glorious light and brilliance. Imagine the brightest star in the sky was Lucifer in heaven. He was known as the morning star for his brilliance and beauty. A magnificent, wise and beautiful creature, Lucifer was among the highest of God's creations. He was a prominent leader among the angels and even had a special position close to the divine presence of God. His presence was both awe-inspiring and revered by other angels. In the book of Ezekiel, we explore more about Lucifer's grandeur, described in poetic language. He was covered in every precious stone imaginable, ruby, topaz, diamond, beryl, onyx and jasper, to name a few. His settings and mountings were made of gold, prepared on the day he was created. This splendor wasn't just for show, it symbolized his high standing and the important responsibilities he held. Ezekiel's book details Lucifer's grandeur. You were the model of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorned you on the day you were created. They were ready. You were an anointed guardian cherub. I put you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked among fiery stones. You were faultless in your ways from the day you were created until wickedness was found in you. Ezekiel 28. 12 to 15, Lucifer allowed arrogance to seep into his spirit. Despite his exalted position, something within Lucifer began to shift. It started with a small whisper of arrogance in his heart, a feeling that he deserved more than what he was given. One crucial aspect that many theologians agree upon is that he allowed pride and arrogance to seep into his spirit. What is pride? Pride is often seen as an inflated sense of one's personal status or accomplishments, sometimes leading to the dismissal of others' worth and capabilities. Proverbs says, pride comes before a fall. With more knowledge comes more pride. And you know pride is my specialty. And since humans don't like to keep God in their wisdom, I'm able to seduce them with all types of things to help puff up their ego. Pride, often cited as the original and most deadly of the seven sins, began to cloud his judgment, distorting his perception of himself relative to his creator. This arrogance is not just a sudden shift, but a gradual infiltration, painting a complex picture of moral decay. He looked at his beauty and power and started to credit them to himself, rather than seeing them as gifts from God. This pride was the initial spark that ignited his downfall. We need to be cautious about the perils of overestimating our abilities and failing to acknowledge the gifts and blessings bestowed on us by a higher power. We must remember to remain humble, recognizing that our talents and achievements are not solely our own, but are gifts from God. Ezekiel mentioned that the king of Tyre became arrogant because of his beauty, which corrupted his wisdom due to his radiance. Then war broke out in heaven. As Lucifer's pride grew, so did his desire to ascend above God, which was unthinkable. He rallied like minded angels, convincing them that they could overthrow God and take control.
This led to an all-out war in heaven, where Michael led God's loyal forces against Lucifer's rebels. In his arrogance, Lucifer sparked a revolt, attempting to sway heaven's angels against their maker. He maligned God's nature, spreading falsehoods among the angels and denouncing God as an unfair sovereign. Accused God of tyranny and injustice, spreading discontent and lies among the angels, and third of angels were persuaded. They aligned with Lucifer, electing him as their new chief, and initiated a revolt against God. Then war broke out in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Revelation 12, 7 to 9. Lucifer was expelled from heaven along with his followers. That day marked his transformation into Satan, the deceiver. Isaiah 14.12 says, How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. This war is to show the battle between good and evil, loyalty and betrayal. The conflict is not just a literal battle, but also symbolizes the strife and turmoil that arises from within us when one succumbs to pride. Lucifer's pride led him to desire power and authority beyond what was appropriate, ultimately leading to his downfall. This serves as a cautionary tale for us about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the consequences of seeking to elevate oneself above rightful authority. His ability to persuade some angels to join his rebellion emphasizes the significant impact of influence and persuasion. It reminds us to be discerning in the messages we accept and to resist being swayed by falsehoods or manipulation. His spreading of discontent and lies among the angels resulted in division and conflict in heaven. This serves as a reminder for us of the destructive nature of falsehoods and the importance of truthfulness and integrity in maintaining harmony and order. This story is a classic illustration of how pride can corrupt a soul. Initially subtle, pride can grow until it clouds judgment and distorts perception. It makes one believe they are invincible or beyond reproach, leading to ruin. Lucifer's example shows us that no matter how high one rises, pride can lead to a dramatic fall. Reflecting on what sparked Satan's initial evil urge not only provides insights into the theological narrative, but also invites us to examine our own moral compasses. Are there areas in our lives where arrogance might be seeping into our spirits? Are we aware of the corrupting influence of pride in our actions? Admitting my mistakes and weaknesses was once my greatest fear, but through humility, I've learned that vulnerability is a strength, not a weakness. It has allowed me to grow and learn from my experiences in ways I never thought possible. Humility is correlated with greater emotional resilience and well-being. Research by Kesebeer and Kesebeer 2017 suggests that humble individuals experience lower levels of anxiety and depression and have a greater sense of life satisfaction and fulfillment. The impact on earth. Revelation 12:12. 12, 12. Therefore rejoice, you heavens and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. You ask why there is so much suffering in the world. Well, most people put blame on God, but the Bible is clear how Satan's rebellion led to the introduction of sin and misery into the world. Lucifer's revolt didn't only shake the foundations of heaven, its repercussions reverberated across the earth. After his fall, he embarked on a relentless mission to sow discord among humanity, beginning with the temptation of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. His bitterness and rebellion cast a dark shadow over the world, introducing sin and suffering that would echo throughout human history. The impact of Lucifer's rebellion on earth was profound, marking the genesis of all earthly afflictions. As he set out to deceive and corrupt humanity, the consequences were dire, leading to enduring anguish, hardship and loss. I just use it as motivation to get as much of our agenda pushed through and deceive as many people as possible before he returns. I think I've done pretty well.
My record speaks for itself. About 150,000 people die each day, and most of them don't know Jesus. Today, people treat each other like animals, the International Labor Organization. ILO sheds light on the pervasive issue of human trafficking. An estimated 24.9 million people worldwide are trapped in forced labor, including victims of human trafficking for labor and sexual exploitation. Human trafficking is not just a moral scourge, but a sin against God and fellow human beings. Yet this is also a lucrative criminal enterprise with an estimated annual revenue of $150 billion globally. This insidious trade preys on vulnerability, encompassing various forms of exploitation such as forced labor, sexual exploitation, forced marriage, organ trafficking, and child soldiering. Women, boys and girls bear the brunt of human trafficking, accounting for 71% of all victims worldwide. They face heightened risks of sexual exploitation and forced labor in sectors like domestic work, agriculture and the sex industry. Children, the most vulnerable among us, are especially susceptible to trafficking, comprising 30% of all detected victims globally. Many are subjected to unspeakable horrors, including forced labor, sexual exploitation and recruitment as child soldiers. While human trafficking occurs worldwide, certain regions are identified as hotspots for trafficking activity, including Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe, Sub-Saharan Africa, and parts of Latin America. These areas grapple with systemic challenges and vulnerabilities that exacerbate the scourge of trafficking. Today, when you turn on the TV, the news you see is all death and suffering, the gun violence archive, GVA meticulously documents mass shooting incidents, revealing a stark reality. In 2021 alone in the United States, the GVA logged over 600 mass shootings. This shows the frequency and devastating consequences of these tragic events. There are crimes being committed as we speak. According to the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting UCR program, the United States grapples with a staggering number of violent crimes. In 2019, an estimated 1,203,808 violent crimes were reported, encompassing offenses such as murder, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault. This serves as an explanation for the existence of pain, suffering, and loss in human experience, tracing it back to the spiritual rebellion of Lucifer. It reminds us of the reality of spiritual warfare and the constant need to remain vigilant against the forces of darkness. This also points to the inherent brokenness of the human condition resulting from Lucifer's rebellion. It emphasizes the need for redemption and salvation, offering hope for reconciliation and restoration through divine intervention. Jesus and he alone can save humanity. Jesus, the Son of God, embodies the ultimate sacrifice for humanity's salvation. His sacrifice on the cross stands as the pinnacle of divine love and redemption, offering hope and salvation to all who believe. In his earthly ministry, Jesus demonstrated unparalleled compassion, healing the sick, comforting the brokenhearted, and proclaiming the arrival of God's kingdom. Yet, it was his sacrificial death on the cross that holds the greatest significance for humanity. As Jesus hung on the cross, enduring unimaginable pain and suffering, he bore the weight of humanity's sin and transgression. In that moment, he became the atoning sacrifice, reconciling humanity with God and bridging the chasm that sin had created. Jesus willingly laid down his life, surrendering himself to death so that we might have life. His sacrifice was an act of unfathomable love, demonstrating the depths of God's mercy and grace. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus conquered sin and death, offering forgiveness, redemption, and eternal life to all who believe in him. He alone has the power to save us from our sins and restore us to a right relationship with God. It is through faith in Jesus Christ that we find forgiveness, healing, and true freedom. May we cling to the hope of the cross, knowing that in Jesus we have salvation and everlasting life. 
Feel free to share your insights in the comments section below. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. See you next time.